Afternoon, it's Brentley here from Huckabones. Got a special video here today with one of my passions is snowmobiling. So I got some sleds here. Uh, we're gonna load them in the trailers at the end of the video, but first we're gonna look at a Weber Lane and a Legend snowmobile trailer. So that's a front load, rear load kind of ramp system, along with how the width and length of a trailer will make the difference on how many sleds you can put in it. So stay tuned. All right, so before we dive into all the beautiful features with the Legend Trailer and the Weber Lane Trailer, we're gonna look at what trailers we actually have here and what sleds we have here that we're gonna load and show you the different layouts. So to start, on my left, we've got a seven and a half by 23 Legend. Uh, on my right, we've got a seven by 21 uh, Weber Lane. So those 21 and 23 foot increments are gonna be to the nose dimensions. Seven and a half or seven wide is gonna be an outside dimension dimension as well. Behind us, uh, there's another couple trailers lined up that we've grabbed for myself and, and a local club. They're going to be 7 by 23 is one of them with no front unload, so no front ramp on that just to see the difference in that series. And then also an 8.5 by 24, so that's going to give us one foot wider and a foot longer than this legend to see if that can uh, get a few of the larger sleds in in the same platform. So, All right, from there, let's talk about the things that I love sleds we got on my left i got a 137 xc from polaris i got a 146 polaris uh, switchback i've got another 137 ski do mxz we got a backcountry 146 in red we've got a uh, 129 ski do mxz and in the trailer i've got another 146 ski do summit uh, so that's going to give us three 146s to play around with lengths a lot of people are going longer tracks uh, we've got a couple 137s that is probably the most popular sled right now throughout the manufacturers and then we've got one 129 just to see if we can squeeze something in on the shorter tracks all right so we're at the back of the trailers we're going to start with the weber lane difference in heights in these two trailers this is just how we order it not that it has to be ordered this way but you've got some differences here so this is a six tall this is going to be a seven wide again these are outside dimensions and then this again was a 21 foot long so your your v is going to be a five foot on a sled trailer uh, why that is is you have that front ramp they need five feet of wedge to have that ramp functional and have you actually bring a, a snowmobile up it realistically this is a 16 square plus a five foot v so just to break it right down it is full of the ski guides track guides they'll call them that sort of thing uh so we've loaded this one up just to show you how you can set up a, a trailer do you have to do this no you know what i mean i've got a trailer myself the carbides don't uh, dig into an uh, engineered flooring the studs would if you spin of course but this will prolong the floor uh, it is a nicer that way it does give it more traction more grip for tying down as well so we've got the tracking all the way in all the way down the front ramp we'll see that later white wall finish white interior finish on the ceiling in this trailer led lights aluminum rims uh, very nice all aluminum frame trailer here at huckabones all right moving over to the seven and a half by 23 from legend so this is going to be seven and a half outside dimensions what this is going to give us we've measured it out about five more inches inside wall to wall of space uh, how they do this they've got a, a smaller fender on the outside that you'll see down the side along with they'll cut out in the frame for that wheel to be kind of recessed you won't see it on the inside like a big eight and a half wide that we'll look at later where you have your fenders inside but uh, this will give you still a straight wall for loading stuff and uh, gives you a little bit more width so nice little feature there new model from them seven tall great for side by sides great for you know what i mean taller guys because uh, you're going to have six six on the door you're going to lose six inches on any header of any trailer just going in and out so again six sixes on the door white wall finish white ceiling finish in this trailer a couple neat features from legend they've got a in the floor spare tire holder so nice that the spare tires tucked away out of the way sometimes you might have to unload your cargo to get to it but hopefully that day doesn't happen anyways load lights on the back with a little uh, spoiler they'll call it on the back so again just taking that back draft off your door keeping your lights a little uh, cleaner again with led lights they don't burn hot so the the days of uh, you know i mean uh, condescent bulbs burning off your snow while you're going down the road that's that's a thing of the past so you can get a lot of snow load on the back if you're if you're trucking and it's in a storm nice little features here with ramp flaps uh, this this makes a difference on your sled butting up against that raw edge or cutting into that edge where it just kind of makes it seamless 
going up and down the ramp. So they are nice. They're both on both trailers and both front and back ramps. All right, we're back to the front of the trailer. We got the sleds out back. We're gonna load them in a minute, but just wanted to show you. Front ramp on this Weaver Lane to the right. Front ramp on this Legends to the left. So roadside versus curbside. Again, personal preference. You can order it either way. Uh, some people will like it on the roadside like the Legend is, and it's just, you can park tight to, uh, you know what I mean, the, the snowbank, the ditch, and still unload your sled, still get in the trailer. If you need to hop in it quick, the driver, of course, can hop in it faster than going around. Some people want it on the safer side of getting off the road and that sort of thing. So again, curbside could be an option for you. Unload that way. You need to park a certain way. If you are against the snowbank, unload and maybe then park, pull in tight. Again, both of them. Five foot wedge nose to have that ramp on there. So a very aggressive uh, nose that you'll get for aerodynamics. You got two and five sixteens balls, tongue jack, seven pin wiring, LED lights, all the standard stuff that most trailers have nowadays. The one thing, take a look down, uh, down the line there at the fenders. You can see the seven wide Weber Lane on my right has a wider fender and the seven and a half wide Legend has a narrower fender on the outside. Both are still great with mirrors uh, on a standard truck, standard mirrors to see behind. It's when you get to the eight and a half wide or the clamshell st style trailers that you really need an extended towing mirror to see behind. So this is still a great trailer option uh, both ways to be safe with seeing in mirrors and uh, also maximize some space with the seven and a half. All right, so we're gonna start with my 723 Legend. This is a five-year-old trailer. I've ran sleds up and down it. You can see how well the uh, floor holds up with the engineer flooring with studs and carbides going up. I don't have any ski guides, I don't have any wheels on my skis, all that. So uh, they do take some good abuse. What we're gonna do with this trailer setup is we're gonna drive in, back in, drive in, back in. We're gonna try and get four in a 23 footer just to show, you know what I mean, on those long trips, yes, it's a little more loading time, but again, to get that fourth person in the truck, to get that fourth person on the trip in the sled. When we go to the other ones, we're gonna do the drive in, drive out style because they all have front ramps and that's what you're made to do. But needless to say, you could still back one in, drive one in if you needed to throw an extra sled in or get a longer sled in from what we show. That's good there. All right, so we're loaded up. Again, more manual labor, more loading time. You wouldn't want to do this every snow trip, but again, a long haul, you can do this. What we got in this trailer, and it is maxed, uh, you know what I mean? You're, you're inches away from scratching sleds and that's not what we want to do. And you, of course you do still have to strap down, but we've got three 146s in there and a 137. That is your max, max load in a seven by 23. This here is going to be a little different than a sled trailer with a front ramp. This is a 23 foot to the V, but I got more square footage in this trailer. So I have a 20 plus a three foot nose. So a little bit difference with the 18 plus five foot nose on the same length of a trailer with a front ramp. So just remember that. So yes, they are all in there. It is tight, but we made it work. So we're all loaded in the 721 Weaver Lane. Again, 21 feet to the nose. Drive in, drive out with the front ramp. A lot less manual labor of you're just kind of lining up the skis whenever you're loading that way, but you're driving in, you're driving out. The one thing that this does, you know, the disadvantage of drive in, drive out, as you can see, we only have three sleds in this. It's only two feet shorter than the last trailer. We've only got two 146s and a 129. That's all we can get. So again, three 137s, three 129s, no problem. You're not gonna get three 146s in this trailer uh, without, again, going back and forth uh, like we did in the last shot. So again, 721, 
drive in, drive out when you're staggering them, the max you're gonna get is two 146s and a 129 or probably three 137s. All right, so now we're in the seven and a half 23 Legend. Look at all the space I've got standing here, all the space up front. So this it has three sleds in it again, just like the last shot, but we got three 146s. The last trailer we had two 146s and a 129. So a short track, two long tracks. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm guessing you could get three 154s in this trailer. Don't have that to try it, but uh, we will try another shot with getting four of the 137s, 129 kind of combo to see if you get four in the seven and a half by 23. The big difference in this trailer, where you get your extra five inches of width means that that ski comes up to the next ski in the sled. So your ski to ski instead of being under that running board whenever you are staggering them. So that is allowing that sled to get that much further up. So that's what's giving you the, 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 the extra length. This is a 723, so two feet longer than the last trailer, five inches wider. All right, we're back. We're on our last trailer of this episode. We've got an eight and a half by 24 Vinos. So a, again, a front ramp, rear ramp, drive in, drive out. Eight and a half wide your max width down the road. So these fenders, as you can see down the side of the trailer, won't be sticking out. There'll be a hub on the inside of the trailer that you'll you know, have to maneuver the sleds around. But again, usually that's where the tracks are, not really a big disadvantage. As you can see, they're sitting comfortable side by side. This has been the first trailer to allow us to get the skis side by side and maximize your length. So again, with the eight and a half by 24 that we're looking at, we've got four sleds in there very comfortably. Lots of room to strap down, lots of room to go around and, and you know have some gear in there and everything that way. We've got three 146 tracks and a 137 sitting comfortably. Could you put uh, four 146s? Absolutely. So this has been our best configuration yet to allow you of movement around four sleds allow you to position them how you want and allow you to drive in and out with no with no you know i mean issues at all of loading unloading strapping so the disadvantage of course is the eight and a half wide that's the max width so that's the max width that you're pulling with with uh, aerodynamics and wind drag so that is the the big disadvantage you are going to need towing mirrors. Towing mirrors are going to be necessary to see behind you with this size trailer. You're seven, seven and a half wide. That's where you got away with your regular towing mirror, or your regular mirror, I should say, uh, without your extended towing mirrors and still be invisible behind you and knowing what's coming up. So that's the pros and the cons of the eight and a half by 24. I want to thank everyone for watching. This was a lot of fun for me and along with uh, learning a little bit for selling as well uh, of what fits in a trailer. So like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, leave them in the questions below.